నమస్కార్ అండ్ ఇండియన్ గ్రీటింగ్ ఫర్ హలో అండ్ స్వాగతం వెల్కమ్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ కాజల్ వోరా అండ్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు షేర్ ఫుడ్స్ దర్ ఐ ఈట్ ఎవ్రీ డే అండ్ సో కుడ్ యూ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వరల్డ్ ఈటింగ్ హెల్దీ టు టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ సర్వ్స్ అండ్ స్ట్రెంగ్నింగ్ అ ఇమ్యూన్ సిస్టమ్ హ్యాస్ బికమ్ ఈవెన్ మోర్ క్రూషియల్ గ్రోయింగ్ అప్ ఆ ల్యాక్ట్ అవేర్నెస్ ఆన్ హౌ ఇంపార్టెంట్ హెల్దీ ఈటింగ్ ఇస్ by changing my food habits i was not only able to lose significant amount of weight but also sustain that weight loss i am also able to manage an autoimmune health condition which otherwise would have resulted in a lot of pain and suffering instead i am healthier at the age of 43 than i was in my teen years i'm hoping today's video inspires you to make healthier food choices for each of your meals So let's begin. I know that greens are the most nutrient dense of all foods containing large amounts of vitamins, minerals and cancer fighting compounds. My go-to is organic baby spinach that I love to add to my soups, stews, Indian dal, smoothies and more. If you are new to adding greens to your smoothies, try this beginner's green smoothie where you can't even taste the spinach and is picky kids and picky adults approved. Recipe link in the top left corner and in the description below. I also like to change it up and include other organic leafy greens such as kale, arugula, collard greens, bok choy, micro greens and other variety for all the good stuff. I love including my greens in smoothies, salads, I throw in a different variety of greens in Indian style dals with lentils and stir fries. If weight loss is your goal, remember this phrase, the more greener you eat, the leaner you get. I know that eating plenty of vegetables is one of the easiest ways to improve my health and well-being. All vegetables contain vitamins, minerals and fiber. I eat tons of different veggies raw and cooked because I know eating variety is as important as quantity. No single vegetable provides all of the nutrients we need to be healthy. So I eat plenty of vegetables every single day. I include my veggies in salads, stir fries, soups, wraps, toasts, rice, noodles, or I would simply snack on. Fruits are high in important nutrients like vitamins, minerals, fibers, and antioxidants. I try to eat many different types of fruits to get different nutrition. I also make sure I eat berries every day. To encourage myself and my family to eat healthy, I always try to have pre-chopped and prepped fruits trans- in a transparent containers in the fridge, which makes it inviting. I love to add a variety of fruits in my smoothies and smoothie bowls. I also love adding fruits to my oatmeal bowls. For some visual inspiration, video recipe link in the top left corner and in the description below. Beans, peas and lentils that come in legumes family are among the most versatile and nutritious foods available. Legumes are a powerhouse of superior nutrition and the most nutrient dense carbohydrate source. I personally use a wide variety of beans and lentils. Some of my favorite ways to include legumes in my meals is making Indian curries like chickpeas and other beans. soups, salads, hummus and the list goes on. Lentils cook faster than beans and you should pre-soak beans to cut down the cook cooking time. If you are not used to eating beans initially, you may experience some gas issues. So my suggestion would be to start with smaller quantities and then slowly build it up. I know whole grains offer a complete package of health benefits unlike refined grains which are stripped of valuable nutrients during processing. Eating refined flour products promotes poor health and weight gain. I include whole grains like brown rice, wild rice, oats, barley, quinoa and millet 
So the last two are technically seeds, but they offer a lot of comfort. My favorite way to include different whole grains is to add them to a nourish or Buddha bowl style meals to make it a warm comforting meal. Here is a tip. Soak the grains for 8 to 12 hours and you will cut down the cooking time by half. I go easy on the amount of oil I use because I rather get my fats from whole food sources, things like nuts and seeds, in addition to avocados and olives. These offer way more nutrients and fiber. I eat nuts and seeds every meal. For omega-3 fats, I especially make sure to have at least one tablespoon of ground flaxseed daily. Sometimes I like to switch it up with some soaked chia seeds or hemp seeds. I hope you found this video helpful and it has inspired you towards a healthy, mindful lifestyle. If you enjoyed this video, show it some love by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. Until we meet again, from my heart to yours. Namaste.